Okay. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much uh, for inviting me uh, for this interesting and inspirative meeting. And I uh, special thanks to Oliver to found me in Prague. Uh, this team, the team of, of this conference is very wide and large. And uh, I was before the decision what, what to choose uh, from history of Prague Castle. Uh, we can speak about early medieval period, uh, about Charles IV and 14th century. Uh, we can also speak about 15th and 16th century, uh, the period of emancipation of Czech nobility uh, and of construction of uh, amazing Vladislav Hall, uh, place of coronation of some of Czech kings and also uh, the place of election of some of Czech presidents and Czechoslovak president. Uh, we can speak also about the last coronation in the uh, 18th and 10, uh, 19th centuries and their con con consequences. Sorry. Uh, finally, I prepare, uh, I, I, I prefer to present you a formative early medieval period. Uh, typical for a conse consequent institutionalization uh, of future Prague Castle. Uh, for the beginning of my lecture, I would like to present you a quick overview of Central European Illimedial history. Perhaps for some of you, it is uh, terra incognita, I suppose. No, so where we are. Yeah. Uh, Opinions on the development of Central Europe uh, have developed uh, over the last 200 years, having paid tribute to the needs of society and the political systems at the time. In the 19th century, an overall concept of Bohemian history was bred within the borders of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy in the atmosphere of the Czech national revival. After the foundation of an independent Czechoslovakia in 1918, the formation of the Przemyslet state became a major subject. Uh, after the Second World War, connection to the East with the stress on our Slavic identity, uh, together with the South-Eastern orientation, prevailed in the early medieval studies. While the ideas uh, of the early Przemyslet states after the Second World War, the so-called Great Moravia state advanced to the first place. Interesting and rich sites were being uncovered since the 19th or 20th century. The importance of Cyril Methodius' uh, mission was stressed, and in the course of the time, this undoubtedly interesting field of research became over-interpreted. The illusion of an absolutely exceptionality in uh, the broader context of early Central Europe was created, and evidence of, of uh, for example, a christening from the West in the first half of the 9th century thus before the Byzantine mission suppressed. Only logically a new construct of Bohemian history evolved in its information and Christianizing were seen directly depend on Moravia. Such a view, however, contrasts the written as well as archaeological sources. It leaves at hand the revision of this area without omitting the broader context seems promising. In the 9th century, the Frankish and later the on East, East Frankish Empire was bordered from the Baltic Sea, from the Baltic to the Adriatic Sea by a band of Slavic settlement uh, that gradually accepted the Christian faith and became in one on another way dependent on the empire. These dependencies differ in time and availability of sources, <coughs> source material. While, while the northern part up to Moravia appears altogether stable, the Sonsa Pass moved from Enns River towards the Danube, and after the invasion of the Hungarians back to the Enns in the Pannonia Death. The incorporation of Central Europe into the political, religious, and cultural realm uh, of Biden Europe followed a similar pattern in the Slavic tribes in the north as well of, uh, as south of us, so not uh, at the time uh, at the same period. The principle of the integration was anywhere the same. The first step was a military subjugation that would allow to second step a liberal propagation of Christianity the missions. Part of these steps was the appointment of, the, of governors in the margraf of given territories, with all probability in charge of the military protection and communication, but as well of the missionaries and their working places. An important milestone in this process was the baptism of a given territory. 
For example, in 831, Bishop Reginald Christianized the Moravians. In uh, 836, King Louis German installed Rostislav as the Duke of, of the Moravians. The same procedure was later applied on Bohemia. Baptism in 845 and the installment of a Bohemian Duke in 857. However, this official act of christening high uh, representative of the country cannot be seen as a singular political move, whose effect would have been uncancelled afterwards. In rather was the result of a fairly long-term missionary activity, leaving considerable imprints on the further development. <coughs> this is the former uh, card of former Czechoslovakia. A uh, center of power started to develop in Bohemia as well as Moravia in the course of the 9th century. Apart from traditional settlement <coughs> structures with the traditional ways of subsistence and gradually developing fortified elite seats, trade centers and gained importance. Trade with minerals, Sla uh, Slavs and other important commodities stood behind the flourishing of Moravian mm -hmm. as well as German Bohemian centers. Prague is uh, situated um, in the river plain of Vltava in central Bohemia, in a landscape with intense settlement, at least beginning with the Neolithic period. On the surrounding river uh, terraces, uh, some early medieval fortifi fortified settlements are to be found, while a few of them older than Prague itself. Most of them can be dated on uh, archaeological grounds after the 50s of uh, 9th century. Uh, from its early uh, medieval beginning, uh, on Prague appears as an excep exceptional center. Just to give you an idea about this gradual growth, I will rather start with the end of the medieval urban development. On the one hand, with the first geodetic map of Prague from the year 1918. On the other, uh, on the other, an ideal reconstruction of the cities of Prague after the foundation uh, foundation activities of Charles IV in the second half of the 14th century. On the right. You can see a map with the position of the individual cities and their fortification. And all the settlement is now from the left river bank, from the area of Prague, Castle, Hradčany, <coughs> and Lesser Town, Malá Strana, uh, which was gradually fortified beginning with the end of the 9th century. Still in the early Middle Ages, perhaps in the end of the 10th century, the second significant elevation opposite to Prague Castle, Vyšehrad, uh, was fortified as well. The old town on the right river bank developed around the vast ma marketplace and was fortified only in the middle of the 13th century. The new town was added in, <clears throat> in the second half of the 14th century by Charles IV. The so-called Jutnodes map on the left uh, give you, gives you an idea on the position in which Prague is situated. The oldest early medieval settlement is to be found in the highest altitude at Prague Castle and Hraceny and somewhat younger Vyšehrad and uh, in the meander of the river uh, watch, uh, which was left over by abandoned arms and terraces of the Vltava. Prague Castle <clears throat> forms a significant dominant on the left bank of the Vltava River, or Moldau, if, if you prefer. It spreads over a prolonged ridge. Oh, better. <clears throat> it's oriented from east to west, and it's both to the east. From the south, it closes the basin of Malá Strana and and turns to the hill of Petrin, like that. Uh, on the northern side, uh, it is limited by the narrow but almost uh, uh, 30 meters deep valley of the Brusnice Brook. The whole site is characterized by a naturally fortified strategic position. The current pittoresque image of the castle is intensified by its architect architecture, is a result of the long-term building development there. Uh, and changes of the original terrain. In the beginning of the of a permanent settlement, e.e. in the last third of the ninth century, the ridge offered a completely different view. 
Archaeologists have been working on the reconstruction of the original spur of Hrachany for tens of years. For tens of years. Not only historical and archaeological sources have been evaluated, but also we have natural scientific analysis to our disposal. Actually, the original shape of the spur is decisive for the understanding of the position of the oldest monumental buildings, their effect in the landscape, and the last but not least, for possible roads between the tall structures uh, on the top of the spur and its connection uh, connections uh, with uh, the by then already settled space of what were, was to become Hrachany and Malastrana. The bedrock of the Hrachany ridge uh, consists of a very resistant quartzite, grey rock and sandstone with layers of slate. Of the summit on the summit on the spur on the third country yard and the eastern part on San George Square, there is the San Yard now, San George Square. <clears throat> the bedrock amount almost to the current level of the pavement uh, of about uh, 75 meters above the level of the river Vltava. The morphological basic shape of the structure, structured and rugged Hrachany spur formed through the uh, erosion during the tertiary and quaternary between the river Vltava and its inflows. The now abund uh, abandoned stream of Stransky in the south and Brusnice stream. Brusnice Brook is the part. <clears throat> At the end of the 9th century, the territory of Prague Castle looked completely different um, uh, from today. Settlement was concentrated to two eleva elevated parts of the ridge, divided by an irregular canyon. <clears throat> Uh, from north to south, which uh, today is completely built up. The cross section of this axis was wedge shaped and it's not clear yet now broad it was the, uh, at the surface. The irregular western axis was at the eastern edge about uh, 50 meter wide and broadened westwards. The eastern part consists of a very elongated and sharp ridge. Um, uh, approximately 10 uh, meters uh, wide and around uh, 100 meters long. The oldest settlement and cemetery with the so-called warrior's grave lies on the western elevation there. Uh, it seems that the eastern elevation uh, today approximately in the area of San George Square dominated by outcrops of the bedrock was not inhabited in this early time. <clears throat> the oldest traces of human activity on the highest top of the ridge were found in the uh, 20th of uh, 20th century during Earth's work for the foundation of the granite obelisk, uh, which uh, now forms a dominant of the third country art. Uh, we have to deal with the so-called warrior's grave, the burial on, uh, of a man with iron sword, axe, dagger, knife, flint and steel, an iron razor and a wooden bucket. Uh, this find is dated before the middle of 9th century. Moreover, the surroundings of the top of Hrachany are connected with the so-called <coughs> Gigi Mount, perhaps a pre-Christian sacrificial, sacrificial site and uh, a princely, princely throne uh, where the princess of Bohemia should have been entroned. We did not find any traces neither of the mount nor of the throne, but the further development of the structure of this area do not hinder at such an interpretation. Uh, the church <coughs> of, Virgin, uh, of Virgin Mary, the first Christian building uh, on Prague Castle now, uh, was surveyed in the 60s of uh, 20th century. Its, uh, its construction was uh, uh, first ascribed to uh, Prince Bořivoj and dated to the end of the 9th century. A recent re-evolution has shown, however, that it must be much older, probably from the mid uh, of 9th century, as can be seen in connection with the baptism of, at Regensburg. It is interesting that uh, it was erected far away from the center uh, on the west uh, part of the ridge um, <clears throat> of the future, well, from the center of, of the future Prague uh, castle in a sufficient distance from the Gigi Mount and the Varios grave 
and probably belongs to the early medieval settlement which we currently start to discover on the borders of the today, today's Hračanské náměstí, Hračanské square in this part. <coughs> This is view from west, and there you have the Brusnice Brook, and there is the part of Malastrana and Lesser Town, and the river of Mondo, right there. The re-evaluation of the archaeological excavation and, and the setting of individual pieces of all this architecture on the original physical relief have clearly shown that we have to re-evaluate even the significance of and hierarchy of individual areas. On the eastern tip of the spur, where in the 10th century a seat was to, build, was to be built, that in the 11th century became the Przemyslet Castle, there was <coughs> certainly nothing in the 9th century, in the east part, no, eastern part. Uh, neither to the west, behind to the ravine, uh, on the most elevated spot of the spur, there was the warrior's grave, and we assume also the Gigi Mount. Uh, even further to the west, on today's uh, Hrachany Square, was an empty open space already in the, in the Middle Ages. Uh, on the borders of this space, we are starting to discover dense early medieval settlement. Uh, in the northern part of the strip between this open area and Gigi Mount was erected a church, which was uh, known as the Church of Virgin Mary. And we, we are dating now to the middle of the 9th century. This is the Hračanské square now, to this also open space. <clears throat> the first Christian building on the eastern elevation was uh, uh, erected sometimes in the 20s uh, of 10th century. Uh, at the at time, Prince, uh, Prince Vratis, Vratislav founded almost at its top the St. George Basilica. A couple of years later, Prince Wenceslas had a rotunda built uh, for the relics of San Vitus. This round church stood on the western end uh, of the eastern part of the spur and the edge of the ravine. The position of both these churches frames the original urbanistic core of the future Przemyslet castle. Recently, the thesis appeared between both churches after the lowering of the rocky ridge, the oldest building face of the... somewhere here... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the oldest building uh, face of the Brunsley Palace would have been uh, erected. Nearby the San Vitus Rotunda, as well as of the proposed palace, uh, there was to be found, as we know, the so-called San Wenceslas Well. Um, <coughs> what had come into existence uh, would have been a very compact settlement unit between two churches together with the water resource. This uh, San Vitus Rotunda wasn't built on the highest top of the eastern part of the spur, as we would expect in the case of such an important type of building, but lower, on a southwestern slope. A good reason could have been then this building on the topmost level. Now we are rather of the opinion that the tr true reason is that this way because of the ravine. The Rotunda was better visible mainly from the area of the lesser town, where uh, then the center of the civic settlement is to be situated. Visual contact with the town was kept intact for later phases of the building development of the old churches of San Vitus as well. Uh, in the 70s of 10th century, uh, when the bishopric was installed, San Vitus Rotunda became an uh, Episcopal church. Most probably the bishop uh, had to get a premise for the erection of his own seats, first of timber, uh, then of stone with, with the chapel of St. Maurice. It was erected on the western elevation near the grave, graveyard with the royal grave. Uh, the question is to what extent uh, the local tradition was still alive and what were the true reasons for founding the bishop's see at, uh, exactly in this place. What actually came into being was the southern and western limit of the future Episcopal district, and this had a couple of further important consequences. Uh, about 80 meters um, was the distance between the seat of San Vitus uh, and the connecting to a uh, road led over the ravine. Very probably the ravine already uh, was uh, 
build up, fill up, uh, filled up, and was easily to be passed. The leveling of the terrain facilitated the existence of another cemetery on which enclosed obviously western neighbor the grave of San Albert somewhere there was to be erected in the in the thirties of the eleventh century. The long distance um, between Episcopal See and Church leads to the consideration whether a much a uh, larger longitudinal Episcopal Church was not in intended uh, already in the 70s of 10th century. In the eastern part of the elevated area, north of the St. George Basilica and uh, Bolanectin Nunnery was added here. <coughs> it appears as uh, if the space which in the course of 11th century was to become the spiritual center of the land was already set out in this early time. The configuration of the individual areas in the 9th centuries show that the primary function of the castle spore was a sacral one. It was a, short, it was a sort of a holy mountain with a place of assembly, maybe, and in the mid 9th century at latest, the first Christian church stood here, there. Mostly probably inauguration took place here, whose uh, rather faint reflections was recorded in uh, the early medieval written sources legend and in the Cosmos history of Bohemians. These texts, however, were written down at much later time, uh, and their main function was to legitimize the ruling Przemyslet dukes. The Przemyslet family moved to the, uh, to the fore in the end of the 9th century, and Prague Castle was no, not their seat at the time. They seem to have been an, uh, at home rather at uh, some castles in central Bohemia. Uh, all references to their conquest of Prague Castle remain unclear and were recorded at considerably later time. The premises are safely proven only in the 20s of 10th century, when St. George Basilica was erected, this, this part, <clears throat> on the easternmost tip of the spur, most probably already from the beginning with the ambition to become a bishop see. In the first half of the 10th century, there was an archipresbyteriat founded by Regensburg. Then in uh, 973, a bishopric at uh, San Vitus Rotunda. Since there is limited space suitable for the settlement around the ch two, two churches, the question arises: when did the castle become the seat of the ducal and uh, later on the royal family? We can say with certainty that it was at the beginning of the 12th century, even though so some evidence points already to the 11th century. By all means, uh, at the time ecclesiastical areas, has, has the, developed in the accessible part of the castle, and the duke had to be satisfied in the, uh, in, the uh, in the southern slope to the lesser town. We know the description of the ducal inauguration uh, right from written sources. It should have taken place at Strom uh, on Jeje Mount, uh, which means on today's country art. It remains unclear when this ritual was added by Christian elements. However, the ritual was transferred to the church only after the construction of San Vitus Basilica, the second uh, church of San Vitus, which had uh, replaced the Promes Rotunda at the end of uh, the second half of the 11th century. In view of their position towards Francia and uh, the later Ottonian Empire, the Czechs uh, had no real kings, although this title was technically a non-hereditary born for the first time by Vratislav in uh, 185. A hereditary royal title uh, is known from, Bohem f from Bohemia only since 1198, since the reign of Przemysl Otokar II. Bohemian historians have a vain try to find the coronation order of the Bohemian kings. Until now, uh, it seems that the first king who connected this ritual with the cathedral of St. Vitus at Prague Castle was only the Emperor Charles IV in the mid fourth century on grounds of the French prototype. Until, until then, the traditional ducal inauguration seems to have survived. 
This, however, did not prevent uh, this, however, prevent Prague from uh, for, from becoming uh, an indispensable center of Bohemian Duchy Kingdom or any other later state formation that had Prague as its center. It was the seat of Bishopric, Archbishopric of Rules, and after uh, 1918 of the President of Czechoslovakia, and still is the seat of the Czech President. The tradition established between the 9th and 11th and 12th century represent one of the pillars of pure and Czech culture identity. The mouses from Prague Castle, thank you. <laughs>